Hello there, YouTube. Welcome back to Mobster Monkey, or if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Um, today, as you can clearly see on the screen, as I say in every single video, <laughs> today we're doing a review of the uh, Marvel Legends, um, the leader um, figure um, from the Abomination Build-A-Figure. Um, this is a build a figure that I would have loved to have gotten my hands on since it's the Incredible Hulk a villain. Um, but I, now I'm just getting one of the legs, the left leg, um, or the right leg, the right leg of the Abomination um, starting off. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get any of the other pieces unless I order them offline because I believe that this one's been out for quite some time now. Um, but I was able to pick this bad boy up from um, a GameStop. Surprisingly, surprisingly, I'm able to find pretty good, um, a, a lot of Marvel Legends from GameStop, um, from instead of like Walmart or Target or whatnot. They always never have anybody, but GameStop had a huge selection the, the other day. I was able to pick up two figures, um, and I picked up this guy, and I'll do a review of the other one here soon. Um, but yeah, um, today we're doing the review on the, the Marvel Legends, the leader who is one of the well-known Hulk um, villains. There's the front view of the figure in the box. The side view with a pretty good-looking um, uh, box art of the leader doing, of course, the, the good old pyramid um, evil scheme-looking dude, uh, villain-esque. You know, every villain does the, the pyramid. And then you've got the box art here. It's got all the figures that you can collect. Um, it's got all where the, all the parts are. You got, uh, I believe these are three are from the video game, uh, Marvel Avengers, um, which currently I'm playing. Um, you can catch my streams. Uh, if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, you'll be notified when I start streaming. Um, the Avengers video game. Um, I recently just unlocked or found out about Captain America and I can play as him now. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you got Captain America, you got Iron Man, you got uh, Miss Marvel, and you've got, uh, I believe that's Mar Marvel. Uh, Marvel, yeah. Marvel, I don't know too much about him. Uh, Marvel's uh, Mech 1, don't know too much about it. And then Marvel's Rage, I don't know too much about Marvel's Rage as well. It kind of looks like a Luke Cage looking figure. Um, there's a little close up of it. There we go. Kind of lit up the screen, I'm sorry. And then, of course, the leader. Um, and then the abomination figure. And then the other side also has just the normal box art. And then we're back to here. Let's go ahead and refocus on the figure and dim down the lighting a bit. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and break this bad boy open. See you in one second. Alrighty, now we're back here with the figure itself and, of course, the abomination leg. The leg of the Abomination is ginormous. It is all the way up to uh, the leader's waist. So it's a huge figure, um, but he kind of needs to be because if he's if he plans on fighting the Hulk, he needs to be a big guy. Um, it looks like there's quite a bit of articulation in it. Uh, I don't want to do too much of a review on it um, until I get, of course, the, the whole figure. Um, but it, it looks like, yeah, it looks like it's got a pretty good articulation. And a lot of its uh, legs, um, whatnot, in the leg itself, anyways. Uh, that's all I really know about the abomination. We'll go ahead and set that to the side. The um, figure itself, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm a little gassy. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in a tad bit for you guys. Uh, whoop, there we go. The figure itself for the leader isn't too bad. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the um, the orange color. Uh, I know that this is like a a feel to, um, I believe, the comics. Um, I haven't read too many comics with the leader in it, so I don't have a big uh, knowledge base of um, the costumes of the leader. Um, but again, I'm not a big fan of the orange, um, but it doesn't look terrible. But I'm not a big fan of the color orange in general. Um, but um, with the yellow and the orange, it, it, I mean, it's okay. It's fine. Um the figure itself, it looks kind of like it's got a little bowed in 
legs, um, if you can see that, it looks like it's legs, his legs kind of bow in a bit. I'm guessing you can probably get those straightened out with like a hair, a hair dryer or whatnot. Um, um, I wish I had a ruler. I actually don't have a ruler, that's so I measure him up for you guys, show you how tall he is. Um, but he's overall, he's not a not a terrible figure. Of course, his head's ginormous because it's got to be the leader. Um, here's a side view of him. Here's a side view. The back view. Let's see if I can get him to stand up without. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And there's the back view of him. And as you can see, they've got a print on him that I really don't like. I hate when I see prints. Um, a tag or whatever on him. Um, that kind of sucks. And I really like, um, because this is supposed to be like a jumpsuit type thing. And you can kind of see uh, right here in the buttocks, you can see a little bit of a crumple up of the suit. So that's a really weird detail to put in it, but they added it to make it look kind of more like a, a, a suit instead of it being skin tight uh, right there on the butt. <laughs> um, and then uh, the other side view. I don't, know why he's like, I don't know why he's not wanting to stand up now. I just had him perfectly stand and stood up. But now he's not wanting to. Uh, there we go. There's his side view. Overall, again, he's not a bad fitting figure. He's got a little, it looks like his hair is pretty detailed um, for the most part. Um, and then he's got this little um, rubbery, um, I don't know what to call this, um, vest thing. I wouldn't really call it a vest. Uh, um, holster, um, tactical holster, I don't know. Um, so let's go ahead and go get into the articulation. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out for you guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into the articulation of them now, um, which I'm going to try to position myself a better way. I wish my camera wasn't so, or my phone and stuff wasn't so in the way. Um, the figure itself, let's start with the head. Uh, the head uh, is a little stiff, but he can make a full 360 head turn. Um, he can look up about that far. And look down. About that far. It looks, feels like he's got, yeah, he's got double joint uh, in his neck. So that's really cool. Um, a little bit of head pivot to the sides. Okay. And then the shoulder. Again, he's pretty stiff, this figure is anyways. There we go. Got a little bit of the uh, tricep, or the, uh, oh, what are these? Um, lats? No, lats are above. Um, I can't think of the name of them right now, but it's really cool. A bulge, um, right there. Um, that's about as far. Again, as you can hear, it's kind of clicky, um, which is fine. Um, not too bad. And then the uh, bicep can curl or rotate completely. Um, articulation looks like he's got double jointed elbows, uh, pin point elbows. There you go. And then the wrist, there's none in the crease, but there is wrist rotation and articulation. It's about as high as far, far as it can go and downwards. Okay. And then abdominal. And go back on down about that far. Abdominal crunch. And then uh, vice versa. You can't really lean back that well, but I don't figure he would pose the leader in a pose of a way that he would need to be like that. He's not like Spider-Man. Uh, he also has a belt, I guess, as well, um, which can cause problems, but it's able to move up just a tad bit to allow rotation, which has got full rotation. Um, and then the legs, he's able to go down pretty far. And then thighs, you got articulation in the thigh. Again, he's pretty tight, holy cow. And both, of course. And then this guy looks like he's got double point, or double articulation. Oh, excuse me, again. Uh, double articulation in the knee with the uh, pins. Um, it's pretty nice. I, I like it when they add both pins to these because it kind of equals it out, you know. It kind of makes it feel uh, um, equal, I guess. It makes it feel, um, what is it called? symmetrical 
um, when they don't have them in the knees or in the arms, but they have them somewhere else in the other places. It doesn't feel very good. Um, uh, double articulation. He's able to freaking kick himself right in the butt. Pretty nice. And then um, ankle. You've got, oh yeah, holy cow, you can even hyperextend his leg. Boom, there it is. And there's the ankle. Can go up about that far. And can go down about that far. It looks like he's got a little bit of um, plastic right there that needs a little nipping if needed. Um, and then it does have a, a bit of a, a, a pretty good amount of ankle pivot. Pretty good amount of ankle pivot. I really don't like how that just tore up right there. That's not cool. Um, yeah, it needs a little bit of nipping right there, as you can see. But overall, the figure's not too bad. Um, not a whole lot of detail in this figure, um, but it's not a lot to expect from the leader himself. Um, I kind of wish he would have came with some other accessory, um, like a, a tool that he would use, or something that he would use to try to stop the Incredible Hulk. Um, but sadly, he didn't come with anything besides the Abomination Leg, as you saw it before we started this review. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, let me know how you guys feel about this figure. Uh, let me know about some other figures you'd like to see me try to get and try to do reviews for um, here in the future. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you did like it, uh, hit that like button. It helps out a ton. Also, hit that subscribe button um, to know when I'm uploading my or when I upload again. You can be notified by hitting the um, the bell. Um, what else? Um, comment. Um, I don't know. Go outside, drink water, um, kiss your kiss your significant other. I don't know. Um, call your mom. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.